Now let's reconcile our credit card statement. In this example, we'll receive our credit card statement for our company credit card that we use for the fuel in all of our vehicles. It's critical to reconcile your credit card statement when you receive it. It's the only way to find miscellaneous charges that may have appeared on your credit card and reconcile those charges with what you have in QuickBooks. Also, at the end of the reconciliation, QuickBooks gives you a payment option and processes a check to pay the credit card bill. To begin the reconciliation, come here under Banking, Reconcile. We're going to reconcile the Cal Oil Card. Our balance is, per the statement, is one fourteen eighty one. Click Continue. And now QuickBooks shows us everything that we've entered in the system for this credit card. Next, we go through and compare what's on this screen with the credit card statement. All these items have cleared on the credit card statement. These are all our charges, and over here, these are payments. If you're not sure about an item, you can double click on it, and QuickBooks will click zoom, and you can see the original transaction. This is a payment we made. Both of these are on the statement. We've reconciled, and our difference is zero. Let's click on Reconcile Now. And QuickBooks gives us the choice of printing off a reconciliation report. We recommend always printing this off and keeping this reconciliation report with the statement. Now QuickBooks processes a payment for the credit card and gives us two choices. We can write a check now or enter a bill for payment later. Let's write a check for the payment now. Click OK and QuickBooks fills out a check for us for the amount due. We're going to click on the to be printed box because we're going to run this check with other checks we're going to print later. And we're going to click on save and close. And that's using company credit cards within QuickBooks software.